Hello everyone, it's Beetlejape and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a brand new playthrough for you guys. This is Pippa Funnel, the Golden Syrup Challenge. It's actually quite an old game. Um, I think it was in, I don't know, 2005, but this was one of my childhood games. This is one of my favorite horse games that I ever played. And it's one of multiple different games within a series, which actually has an overarch uh, overarching storyline. And that's actually pretty cool for a horse game because you don't see that very often. I am definitely playing them all out of order. I do, I have played I think all of them except for the very very first one um, and this was a standout for me plus the one before it was also a standout. They were my two favorites and I definitely want to play them on this channel and kind of relive my childhood because this was definitely uh, something I enjoyed playing quite a bit and I know the storyline pretty well. I played it multiple times growing up so I feel pretty confident with playing this game. It's not hard by any means. It is designed for children to play. Um, but this it has so much nostalgia for me and I absolutely love this game to bits. Um, of course you have to really know that the graphics are not top notch but for a horse game it's not bad because most horse games don't have fantastic graphics so this one's actually it's doable like I'm happy with it so yeah I, I'm so excited to get into this and play this again it's been so long so let's just go ahead and make a new game so in terms of the name you can just change it to whatever you want um, it doesn't really matter because um, the character will always be Flora um, and it will be mentioned as Flora but for the sake of this I'll just change it <laughs> I can change it to like Beetle because I don't think I can fit yeah that's all I can do Beetle it'll be Beetle then and the horse breed you can change they honestly they don't look that different um, just the Arabian thoroughbred which has that sort of high tail um, which is characteristic of the breed and the English thoroughbred I think is just bigger <laughs> than the French the French saddle so there's not really much difference Connemara they all look the same so and I honestly don't think there's much of a difference in terms of like their um, what would you call it I'm trying to think of the word um, stats I guess there's no difference between their stats it's basically the same I think I might choose an Arabian um, this was my favorite breed to choose when I was younger um, not so much now but in terms of uniqueness it, it looks the most different so I'm like yeah why not choose an Arabian thoroughbred there's a lot of colors to choose from though which is nice again <laughs> the gray or the, the creamy white color was my favorite as well um, let's see, why don't we go with the grey, I quite like the grey, the, the name of the horse doesn't matter either, <laughs> you can call it whatever you want, and I, I have a habit for whenever I have like these sorts of games, I always call like <laughs> the horse or whatever Merlin, so I'm just gonna go with that, his name's Merlin. That is extraordinary. Our champion has topped the international podium without breaking sweat. A great victory for the Academy and a great victory for Director Bird and his team. He would have loved this sky. I still can't believe he isn't here. His dream is ours now. You know, I've been trying to keep the academy running since Bird to die, but the castle is getting to run down and we're going to have to move out. It's too big a job for one man alone. I don't have Birdie's drive. Patrick, if you're asking, I don't think... You don't have to reply now. The plane only leaves in three hours. Plane? I have two tickets to Italy. Do you know Tuscany? If you want me to help, you're going to have to stop being so mysterious. The Sycamore Academy is moving out. I need a partner with credentials to take it up to the highest level. And I think you're that partner. Okay, I know I'm always late, but I'm not going to grovel. Some things take time, that's all. And for once, it isn't my fault. You can make your own mind up soon. I know I shouldn't be driving so fast, 
But if you've just been picked to join the prestigious Sycamore Academy, you do the same. It's the most beautiful thing ever to happen to me. An incredible tale that I'd love to share with you. But like all my stories, it has a pretty eventful start. So hold on to your hats. Come back, nitwit! Hmm, if you ask me, students shouldn't be allowed to bring their own horses so badly trained. So Elsis is speaking, which is kind of like a, I don't know, like your sort of spirit that's hanging around you. Quick, there's a girl in danger. She's going to fall in the gully. Save her. So it's just saying to use the directional arrows, um, it doesn't have the WSD keys formatted, but I think I can change that in the settings later, I might just do that to make it easier. Um, and we just have to go find Flora and save her. Um, if you're stuck, you can open up your notebook with N and click on the objectives tab, we only have the one objective. Uh, now hurry, there's not a minute to lose. Alright, so this is the fun part. Um, when I played this game at the very beginning, I couldn't find Flora. I was so bad. I went in the wrong direction and I would just be circling and not looking and I actually had to Google how to save her and she's just over here and it just took so long to get there. The girl is here. When this icon appears, press the spacebar to carry out the action. Thanks, beautiful. You look like you know where you're going. I'll follow you. Welcome to the all-new Sycamore Academy. I'm Patrick, the school's new director. I'm going to be assisted by my able coaching team. Let me first present to you Harry Thimples, who will be teaching all you need to know about horse care. Over to you, Harry. Good horse care is essential and sloppiness will not be tolerated. It's going to be a lot of sweat and toil, and you're going to have to get your hands dirty. But I can guarantee your horses will be clean and happy because I'll make sure they are. Is it me, or does he pack a punch? Looks kind of cute to me, with his wee white goatee. Silence! Let's have some manners, please. Cute, you say? Okay, thanks, Harry. Well, also Jade, your competition coach. I'm very pleased you're here with us. Each of you has special gifts we can develop. Let's hope this year will be the year your dreams come true. Strange. There's like a distant sadness in her eyes. Like she has a huge burden to bear. That's true. But what I want to know is where exactly she bought those cool trousers. We are also pleased to welcome to the Academy World Champion, Pippa Funnel. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here. This is a great Academy and I can't wait to start work with you. You'll be taking on the cream of World Academies. You'll have to be at your best if the Sycamore Academy is going to win the Gold Stirrup, the most famous Inter-Academy Cup. Just a minute. There's someone missing. Hi. I know I'm late, but my scooter fell into a gully. Fortunately, one of your horses came to the rescue and saved my life. Then it rode me straight here. You have a colorful imagination, young lady. You remind me of someone. Please take a seat next to Miguel. We're going to start the lesson. You are free to organize your days as you wish. Each day, you have to train in four disciplines selected from a list. You have a timetable that you must fill with the disciplines you want to take. All you have to do is drag and drop the activities you want, then validate them. Make sure you take your choice of disciplines very seriously. Some disciplines count towards your final assessment. You are advised not to spend all day hanging around the student center. 
Yeah, you may laugh, but it's easily done. <clears throat> Whatever happens, don't forget that once your day has started, activities can't be changed. Your teacher will organize the first few days to help you discover each discipline and understand how your timetable works. Don't worry, it's not as tricky as it looks. Filling in your own timetable can actually be quite fun. I expect you're all keen to get started. Well, let's get going. To start, you have to click on start. Awesome. So what we have here, as it was explained, is we have like a timetable from Monday to Saturday, and I believe my like, competition will be on the Sunday. So you have to go through the week, filling it out as you go, and then you'll get a score out of 10 for everything that you do. Um, you have to get a passing mark and then afterwards you can go ahead and do the competition um, And with the way that this game is set up you'll have little sort of mini quests every now and then like in between particular sessions and with these ones they're there to um, kind of progress the storyline. So this is stuff that you do on your own and then you might get a surprise little storyline progression. Um, and that's like the, the style of game that this one is and like the first couple are. So yeah, um, Monday and Tuesday have been set up already. Um, just kind of going through all of the different things that we could do. And for this video, because we did have a pretty long intro, I probably will only end up getting to do horse care in this one. So let's just go ahead and start that. Good morning, young lady. I'm here to show you how to look after your horse. Horse care is essential and must be taken very seriously if you want to ride a healthy horse. I understand, but what do I have to do? Choose one of the categories of horse care tasks. The weather isn't on our side today, as you might have noticed, so it's not a good idea to shower your horse. You can still give Healthy brushing though. To find out the weather for the week, type this address into the Student Centre computer, and this is just like onlineweather.ubi, which will just show you the weather for the, the week, I think. And then it won't be a question mark anymore. You'll know exactly what the weather will be like. So here we've got um, the hose down, or you've got brushing. Hoof picking, the straw, or oh, straw, <laughs> um, mucking out the stable. And also you can go out into the paddock. So what Harry just said was you can't really go for a shower or you shouldn't because it's raining. So we'll just go ahead and brush instead. Click on the brush to select it for use and then hold down the left mouse button to brush your horse by moving the mouse. Be careful not to brush too close to his head. He's not fond of that and he might lose morale points. Remember to select your brush type carefully. The first brush takes time to clean your horse but it is soft, so you can brush his head and he will gain morale points. The other brushes are much quicker but Take much less comfortable. Take good care of your horse's coat and make sure there's nothing dirty on it. When you think you've finished, press the return button to validate your work. Oh, I nearly forgot! You should also move around your horse to clean both sides, as your horse has to be clean all over. To shift around your horse, use the direction buttons. Yeah, this is where having the arrow keys is really not the best setup because it's everything's like sw squished to the right because I have to use my mouse. Um, so I'm definitely going to change that for the next video to have WASD. Uh, hopefully I can change it. I'm pretty sure I can. Um, but yeah, so basically just like it was said, you just hold down your mouse button and brush your horse and this one's gonna take ages um, but the little pink bar in the left is morale so it will increase if you use this brush because apparently it's nicer I don't know what type of brushes these are <laughs> to me they're all just brushes um, but I'm assuming this one's like the soft and nicer one so let's go ahead and just give that a nice brush over um, I kind of regret choosing a grey horse now because you can't really see how clean the horse is. Uh, but yeah, you can see with this one, it gets the dirt off a lot faster than if you went and chose the um, the first brush. And then after that, we'll just finish off with this one and then we should be done.
pretty happy with that, so let's go well ahead done, and young validate. Lady. Your horse will be pleased as punch to feel so clean again. So there we have it. So the hosing is also ticked because we have, generally speaking, cleaned our horse quite well, so there's no need to do another one. So let's go ahead and move on to hoof picking. People and horses share one thing in common. They don't like pebbles stuck in their shoes. So you have to scrape each of your horse's hooves. Click on the hoof you want to scrape. To scrape the hoof, hold down the left mouse button and make gentle movements top to bottom to remove the grit. Be careful, there's an area of a horse that is very sensitive. The wedge shape at the top of the hoof called the frog. Make sure you avoid it to avoid harming your horse. This is actually very therapeutic. Um, it was my favourite horse care uh, thing that I had to do in this game compared to everything else. Very good! There's only three left! Carry on, you're halfway there! and you're done. There you go. Now press the return button to quit and validate your work. That was pretty good. It's definitely the easiest one by far. And our last one and my most disliked one is the mucking out. Now this game is like the middle ground game where they had improvements from the first game but it's still not quite there yet. So the game after this one in the series, they have made this particular task a lot easier. And you'll see why in a second. This is the most annoying one. This is the tiring bit changing a horse's bedding. There's nothing like a bed with clean sheets for humans and horses. A horse spends a lot of time in bed, so it needs to be nice and clean for him to feel comfortable. Fork out the manure and dirty straw using the left mouse button. The next thing to do is shift it to the barrow using your direction arrows and mouse. Then click your left mouse button to drop it in the barrow. So this is probably the most frustrating part um, with this is you can only pick one piece up at a time and that is the most frustrating part um, and in the newer game they improved it by letting you pick up five pieces in one go which made it so much easier so this is just going to be me picking up one piece go to the barrow coming back and back and forth so yeah enjoy this very very fun part
not as tiring as all that. Aha! It's not over yet, young lady. Now you've got to spread clean straw over the floor of the box. To get straw, you have to fork it from the bale and spread it on the floor. Remember, an even spreading will give you a better score. It's literally the same thing but in reverse and yeah so we have to spread it out as far as far out as we can because that will improve our score so honestly yep it's round two <laughs> Not bad for a starter. You can exit and validate your work whenever you want using the return button. And that's it. Oh, that's like, it still haunts my dreams. <laughs> In terms of horse games, this is always the worst task. Nice work, young lady. Now, usually your horse is allowed a little run around the meadow to relax. Unfortunately, the weather isn't suitable and it might do him more harm than good. I hope the weather's better next time so I can show you how to shower your horse. You may now exit your horse box by clicking on the exit button. All right, so we can finish up now. We won't go out into the paddock yet because it is raining. So same reason for we can't shower. Watch out, I'm still here. You still have tasks to finish. I still don't know why exactly he says that because he just told us to leave. So we're just gonna, we're gonna well leave. Well done. You've just picked up your first points and your first tokens. And what do I do with them? Obviously, young people always need spoon feeding. You win tokens every time you complete a task. Tokens are used as currency in all academies. You can use them to buy tons of things in the village shop, like clothing and equipment. Your score is divided by two, because you have to do a minimum of two training sessions. Next time, the score marked will be the average of all scores you've obtained. Remember, you have to complete two training sessions per week in each discipline. Show jumping, cross country, dressage, and even horse care. So we got full marks, which is exciting, and we get tokens and horse morale and strength has improved. So this is our little scorecard, which is showing um, what we need to achieve by the end of the week. And we've actually already passed horse care. But of course, I'll do that a little bit more so we can try and increase that. Um, we got popularity, which is important if you want to, I think if you want to buy clothes and equipment. And I think also if you want to talk to people, I don't really remember. Um, and if, I think horses level is just overall how your horse goes in terms of these sorts of activities. It will be better if your horse's level is higher. So yeah, that is my little introduction to this game. It is definitely a lot of repetitiveness in it. Um, so I'm not sure exactly how I want to go around doing it. I could just kind of skip through all of like the usual grind, like horse care and dressage and whatnot. Um, of course, I will show them for the first time, but then I might be skipping through. I, it depends on how I feel with it, um, because yeah, the the quests are probably like all the storyline quests, I should say, are the exciting parts to this game, and you you do have a lot of filler trying to improve your horse and your scores and whatnot. But yeah, I'll see how that goes. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this first episode of Hipper Funnel, the Golden Syrup Channel, or Horses, or whatever you would like to call it. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!